Hey guys, welcome back to Bourbon and Smoke. Today we're making skirt steak. So, skirt steak, pretty simple. Um, this is an amazing cut of steak if you've never had it. They're really thin, but as you can see, there's a whole lot of fat layered into this. This is a really tough uh, working piece of meat when it was part of the cow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it real nice and slow, rather than like a tra traditional steak. Uh, we're gonna cook it low, slow. We're gonna get, we're gonna smoke it for about two hours. Just let some of that fat and all those, um, t all those fibers kind of tenderize and just get down to a nice, juicy, tender piece of meat. Seasoning, pretty simple. We're gonna do a healthy amount of garlic salt and pepper. So normally, with a skirt steak, we would just put it on the grill, just cook it like a normal steak, essentially. Uh, obviously these are much larger pieces of meat. Sometimes you can get a whole one and it's like huge. I mean, so the nice thing is with these, because they are thinner, we're only gonna season one side. The other side is fairly fatty. So we're gonna put that piece down, let that render off, and we're gonna cook it, like I said, low and slow. So I'm gonna let this sit and kind of soak in. We're gonna get the grill warmed up. We're gonna cook these at 250 for two hours and kind of see where we're at. See you guys in a minute. Took about 15, 20 minutes for the grill to warm up. We got a 250, it's been sitting here for a few minutes as well, just to get all that bad smoke out of there. So just gonna put these directly on the grates. We're gonna take the smaller one, put that up front here. The big boy is gonna go in the back. Look at that sizzle. All right, we'll see you in a couple hours. All right, so these have been in here about two hours now. They're looking really, really good. But we're at 163 degrees internal temp. What we want to shoot for is about 198 to 200. So I'm going to pull them out. We're actually going to wrap them in butcher's paper just to help speed that process up a little bit and then put them back on. These are so juicy right now. back in and wait till we hit that 198 mark. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right guys, while we wait for the uh, uh, steaks to cook, we're gonna try this Michter Single Barrel Straight Rye. I have not tried this before, it is 84.8 proof. So a little bit on the weaker side, I would expect especially for a single barrel, but. Been a while since we had a rye. Smells like a rye. Let's give it a try. Really, really heavy rye taste. You get that like peppery, just very bold flavor. It actually kind of finishes with like a, almost like a berry or something like that. Um, it finishes really sweet actually. Did not expect that the way it starts off is pepper and spices and just very bold flavors. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, that, that finish is really nice. It's very, very sweet. Good bottle, I'm glad I picked it up. Micker's Single Barrel Rye. So, we'll go check on our meat here. We just got done wrapping it up a little bit ago, so it should be done, I would hope, soon. Drink this on the way. All right, so we're back. It hit our internal temperature of 198 degrees, so I'm gonna pull it out. We're just gonna let it rest here for a second and then we're gonna slice into it and see what we get. Oh, that looks amazing. So we've let it rest a few minutes. Uh, let's cut into one of these. I'm just gonna cut the center out. Oh man, that is so juicy. So with this, with these type of steaks, really what you wanna do is cut against the grain, just like you do with most steaks or most any type of meat. But, and these is pretty easy because 
the striations and the actual uh, green of the meat is going to go side to side, or in this case, left to right. So you always want to cut across like this. That's going to help it become a little more tender. It just pulls right apart. Still got a little bit of elasticity left in there. Let's give it a try. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh is that good? That is absolutely fantastic. All that fat that was in there before is rendered down. Got a little bit of smoke flavor in there. Actually, got a little bit of a smoke ring on it too. So that's, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna go inside and feed everybody because they are real, getting, getting real hangry in there. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, please. It helps me out. And see you on the next one.